Finally, the logo has come back to bar reviews. <laughs> but yo, Jason Eubanks and HIHBowling.com, hashtag hit it harder. Today, we are at Bolero Mesa in Mesa, Arizona, and we're going to look at the Roto Grip UFO Alert. Um, I'm going to have a super huge giveaway for 10,000 subscribers that's coming with probably within the next month or two. So thank you guys for the support. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, um, so having you guys starting to enter for that drawing now. So if you leave a comment, follow it by hashtag hit it harder and you'll automatically be entered into the drawing. Um, it's going to be across multiple videos, so hit the sub button, hit that bell for notifications, and uh, we can get you, you know, hopefully you win something. But thank you guys for the support. If you want to support the channel, PayPal, Patreon, and all that good stuff, links are in the description. Check out the merch at the website, hihbullen.com. All right, so let's go inside and go get a lane real quick. Okay, we're about to do the first five shot challenge. Uh, what that is, first five shots out of the box. Um, do not judge me, I haven't bowled in about a month and a half. Got to let these old man muscles heal up and all that, so I'm feeling good. I'm loose, so we're gonna see what this does real quick. A little better, a little better. So I moved two more right just because I knew uh, I was still my protons to get loose. So I know I had to move way right. What feels like way right. It may not look like it, but for me it feels way right. I'm in the pocket, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm not having a bowl in like a month and a half. Definitely rusty. So it's at three shots, two more. Four. That looked pretty good. Looks like it has nice wind. Not too jerky. I just gotta throw it right. <laughs> Not right as in direction, but right as in correct. All right, so you just saw the first five shots. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> don't be scared a little bit. I think once I fine tune my swing and everything like that, we'll be back at it, get a few more games on it. So let's check out the rest of the footage. And when that is over, we will talk about what I saw out of the ball. All right, so let's go check out some footage. You thanks.
Um, I got my guy Carter with me. Hey, he's saying hi to the camera. He's shy. But uh, I just got to throw in that UFO alert from Roto Grip. Like I said, off top. Very gorgeous looking ball. Looks good going down the lane. Um, from the five shot challenge to the rest of the footage, it got better as you threw it. Um, your moves aren't going to be big moves. They're going to be like literally one, maybe one and a half board moves. After the five shot challenge, I kind of stayed where I was at and just stayed there and got it to the to the drive. Um, thing with this ball, this it seems to be it has a lot of length, so it's super clean. So it will get down lane, um, but you will run into that problem if you, you tug it, it's gonna miss the turn. So as long as you, when you make your moves, make smaller moves and let the ball skate to the friction naturally, you will not have a problem. And you see I struck a lot with this ball just because I was able to conserve more of the lane. Like, I, I can whack them for the first three games, but if I follow myself, like, team event or something, you know, like singles and doubles, how you don't move pairs. It's like, I would use all my lane the first three games. I have nothing else to go to. This would be like the perfect ball in that situation to conserve the lane. It may not start off where you have the free hook, but as you get that friction, you can just throw it there and stay there all night. Move like half a board, one a board, one board, and be good. Like when it started hooking, I moved like three boards, and it missed the turn. It didn't recover. I'm like, okay, so I moved back right, like one and a half, two, was back in the pocket. So that's super dope, though. You don't have to, you know, make those big jumps. Um, and it has e tracks on. You can't go wrong with e tracks, except for that Rubicon UC2. We're not gonna talk about how y'all ruined e tracks for me. But <laughs> this for sure made it made up for it. Um, so yeah, I will be doing this a lot. Um, and that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching.